Hi guys, I'm here at BlizzCon again, and I have some amazing cosplayers I want to meet. I want to introduce to you guys and show you these beautiful creations and characters they brought to life and how they've done, how they do it. Uh, hello. Who you are. I am Kaelthos Sunstrider. I'm Valera. Oh, okay. And how do you make these costumes? Do you sew or do you sew his costume? It's both. I do some sewing and foam work, and then she does the finer detailing. By finer detailing, he means like 90% because he just started. <laughs> and what brings you guys to BlizzCon? Is this your first time cosplaying together, or are you a couple? Um, for the most part, this is our first big cosplay that we've done together, and this is actually our honeymoon. No way. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. They come to Blizz you come to BlizzCon for your honeymoon, guys. You do, you do. So as a honeymoon destination, 10 out of 10? Would recommend? Recommend. 100%. Yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. It's been oh, my gosh. You guys look amazing. Thanks for talking to me. These are so gorgeous. I can't wait to see what you create next year for BlizzCon. And enjoy this honeymoon. Yes. All right. Come on up. Come on up, guys. I got somebody else to show you guys. Let's check out these lovely ladies. It's all about the, it's all about the, the duo cosplays this year. So you guys are friends, correct? Yes. Yes, that's awesome. So tell me what characters you are. I am the Tier 19 Shaman in PvP gear. And I'm Reaper Quinn. And you must be the coolest duo of friends I've ever seen. Not only do you help each other get dressed in cosplay, go to cons together, but you also sign for her? Dude, cosplay handler of the year, best <laughs> friend duo. So was this your own original design? Yes, it was my own idea. I wanted to do something kind of badass, but she was the one that told me to do Reaper, and I decided to throw in Harley Quinn because I love red and black. I love this. I really love that you mashed it up. That's super cool. So have you always played a shaman? No, actually, I don't play a shaman. I play a warrior and a priest, but I was looking for something that had a lot of um, pizzazz. And last year, I did a kind of a fire costume, so I wanted to do ice this year. And this is kind of where I landed. Sounds a little like something else, fire and icy we like. That's amazing. This is beautiful. Is this some kind of uh, packaging wrap you got going on? So um, all the spikes are made out of acrylic cones. They're actually doll cones. And I heated them up onto molds that I made myself with clay. And then the inside is cellophane. There's lights on side, inside all of these as well. That is amazing. Did, did one of you get the other one into cosplay, or have you both always cosplayed? Her first year cosplaying. Um, this is my 10th BlizzCon. Oh, congratulations. Um, 10 years. Yeah, so um, we were just kind of celebrating together, but um, we just met. Um, I moved back to Arizona and met her, and because I'm deaf and we both ride motorcycles, we were like, oh, we should be friends. And then she found out that I did cosplay and she wanted to join. So I said, well, you should come to BlizzCon because that's the best one. <laughs> my first blush con and my first time cosplaying well you girls look amazing and this is such a great combination i hope you have an amazing rest of your con and keep on crafting i can't wait till next year come on up little lady look at this guys oh my gosh well this is ridiculous you look like you popped right out of the game tell us who you are and what this is hi i'm sarah and this is lunar Li Ming from heroes of the storm absolutely incredible how long did it take you it took me since april every day until every day since 5 a.m i have a full-time job so gotta squeeze in that cosplay time as much as i can this is incredible i also heard that you made your daughter a little valkyrie mercy so is she dressed up with you this year or was it just mama cosplaying it's just mama cosplaying but one day she'll come to blizzcon in full cosplay just like me will you be competing this year Yes, I'll be competing in the costume contest. Oh, I'm going to cheer you on. This is so beautiful. Can I get a turnaround so I can see the bottom of your skirt as well? Look at this, guys. The skirt cosplays by itself. She could just set it on the floor like that. That is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh, so amazing. I look forward to cheering you on tonight. Have fun. Come on up, little lady. You're looking a little dragony and frosty. Tell us all about your character. I am cosplaying as Cindergosa, the Frostbrood Queen, which is my own design. And I... It. I had been working on it for like four months, and I'm like, I'm not going to do it last minute, but of course I end up doing last minute things as usual. Something really popular at BlizzCon are redesigns of Blizzard characters. People will take a character that is, I mean, a, a little tiny dragon or a pet or a corgi pet in the game, and then they'll make it a humanized character. So I love these original designs and these really unique creations. So is this the first one that you've created like this? this? Actually, the second uh, version of Cindergosa, I did a masquerade ball gown version, and I was like, you know, I want to be more elegant. I want to be more, you know me and i designed both of them so I'm you really like cindergosa she's a favorite huh dragons yes <laughs> that's awesome this is a beautiful costume give us a spin yeah nothing look at these little 
little buns. Oh, what's inside that supplier? Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for talking with me and enjoy the rest of your con. Come on up. Now, this is a very interesting character. I love me some Arthas, and I recognize an Arthas, but this is a very, uh, you know, a nautical kind of uh, blue color Arthas, but still has a dragon. Tell me why you chose this character. Because it was going to be a difficult challenge to make. That is actually why I chose that. I know it would be an extremely difficult sculpt. It would be an extremely difficult paint job. And so I went with it, and I worked on it for 560 hours. <laughs> it's amazing. I want to tell you guys at home, I recognize this girl immediately. I know her because she is known amongst the cosplay community as Chromie. She has done, how many Chromies have you done? I've done two Chromies. I've done original Warcraft Chromie and the Heroes of the Storm Master Skin Chromie. And your buns actually light up on your chromie, don't they? They do. They have gems in them that light up. So this year, no chromie, even though this kind of was the death of chromie this year. Oh. I will be chromie tomorrow. Uh, I have a panel. The Cosplay 101 panel upstairs. So people at home, people here can actually learn how to make cosplays. Oh, and it'll be broadcast as well. So that's amazing. Oh, my gosh. So you're going to have everybody. Chromie tomorrow during the panel. So, yeah. You're going to teach everyone how to make a chromie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So can I get a picture? Can I get a little view from the back, too? Let me see. Oh, oh, you got a dragon cape, girl. Oh, I like this. That attention to detail is amazing. And the wig. I love it so much. Thanks for talking with me. Are you competing, by the way? Oh, another, another competitor. All right, we'll cheer you on. Good luck. <laughs> oh, well, I guess, I guess Halloween is year long, so come on in. I feel like this is a Reaper. Yes, yes, everybody, I agree. I don't know, though. I don't really know what Reaper looks like. I'm just kidding. Obviously, I know what Reaper looks like. Tell me about your costume. Are you shy under the pumpkin, or can you talk to me through it? Are you scary? Reaper's a little quiet. Oh no, oh no, things are happening to me. Things are happening. I don't have my rocket launcher. I'm weaponless. Oh, I have a rocket though. I don't think it shoots though. All right, so tell me about your costume. Why'd you choose this skin? I, uh, I used this head for a uh, Sinister Squashling last year. <laughs> so this was a two day cosplay. A two day cosplay? Only two days. That's amazing. Look at what you can do in two days. You can be your favorite character in two days. I should. I, I feel like you need to teach me how to make something in two days. I'm a preschool teacher, so it's super easy. Oh, that's amazing. You teach kids. Do they know that you dress up like this? Yes, I was working on my guns in class, and uh, we had a teachable moment about how guns are just pretend, not real. Well, I'm glad you're teaching them that young and that these don't fire. They're just toy guns from the Blizzard world. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I hope your students get to see this. Super cool. Take care. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad news bears. We got Miss Angry Jaina in the house, guys. Well, I love this already. I, I'm a huge Jaina fan. Hate it or love it, I love Jaina. Tell me why you chose this character. You asked for it. No, uh, I really loved in the new Hearthstone expansion how she's transforming into Lich and becoming evil. And I love the spooky nature. So I thought it would be cool to do the post-mana bomb uh, version with her turning into the evil Lich. And so that's what's going on here. I love it. I just finished the Tides of War book and I, the whole elemental summoning outside of Orgrimmar and how she was stopped. You know, I always knew she was dirty. Everybody knows she's a little angry, you know? So, I mean, it was just a matter of time. Blizzard just kept that, kept that in the trunk. So it's awesome to see Crazy Jaina alive and well. How long did it take you? Oh man, if I compacted it all down from the couple months, uh, I would say two weeks nonstop. So 24 hours a day, just going at it. A lot of coffee probably. Oh man, too much coffee. Well, you look amazing. I love it. You're very powerful. You look powerful. You got now. You got to braid it up like the cinematic. Are you excited? Were you pumped with for the cinematic? Tell me you're pumped. Gosh, it's the best thing. Oh, I was dying. I was like a beautiful braid. You look amazing. Thank you for talking with me. Good luck and enjoy the rest of the con. I can't wait to see what you bring next year. You. Take care. Awesome guys. Those are some beautiful cosplayers that are roaming the con. There are hundreds, and when I say hundreds, that's no joke. Check them out online and on the, at the con next year. Come to BlizzCon. See you guys.